Okay, so actually this is part two of a TV sort of escape. Still got the same setup with both coils on the um, left and right channel. But that, there you go, burning more phosphorus. Yeah, I've hooked it up wrong. Yeah. There we go. This one here got a bad connection. We'll plug the one in, which I think this green one is going to one of the vertical. So yeah, you have un unplug one in, you just do that. We'll plug them all in properly. But all the calls will be um, equally through both channels. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. A halo next track. Yeah. Looks like shooting the camera. Yeah. Next track. We all have these ones, skip these ones. Now here's this track 17, is it? Yep, that track didn't burn properly, but it plays a lot. It takes well for a city player to find them, that's why it takes ages to load. Camera to stand up in some way. Camera don't want to stand. Yeah, I put the back back on it, keep it all safe, and just stuck the wires at the back, which you can't see in the camera. Should have bought the light. Yeah, there's the guns lit up in the back. That chance someone just won't shut up. They're burnt, but they're still lighting up. Looks pretty cool. We can set the box for the picture. Change channel. So turn the box off. Yeah, it's just the AV2 volume. <laughs> okay, put the box back on. Looks better with the box. Change channel. There we go, something with a nice colour. Hmm. The frost was that like in that. Hmm. Some tracks don't play properly on this CD player. Strange, but it works alright. That's just a CD. Base mechanic.
because equalizer had a fat ones turned up so they shift and adjust the fading. Speaker they're putting it the front. Just stop the camera and I'll swap the speaker later when I'm in. I've got the volume turned up more and I've got this speaker plugged into the front and faded it so more the volume the volume is louder at the back and quieter at the front. So it won't sound too good this arrangement. I can at least get a bigger um, picture by turning this up and not having the speaker stay damn loud. Volume, here you go. Yeah, volume 12 seems to be comfortable enough to listen to without crackling. Take a fit the camera. So next track. Bass, I love you. Cool. That looks pretty cool. That yeah. looks pretty cool. Looks better in real life than it is on the camera. Should have filmed this at HD camera. I wouldn't have got so much um, distortion on the video. Anyway, still looks pretty cool. Isn't it? <clears throat> Change channel. Whoops. There you go, different colour. Let's put a channel that's not tuned in. There you go. That's just a static. Back to the TV. Turn it down a little bit. Back to 10. I'm sure disconnecting something. Yeah, it makes it scan sideways. Whoops, I'm speaker comes disconnected. Stay your damn speaker. Now we've got two stuff and band disconnected one of the coils. Yeah, you can play around. Play around with a polarity. You can have left positive on the on one coil and vice versa, shop them around and get different effects. So if I swap, see I put the right positive from the right speaker on the positive of the left speaker and swap this arrangement. Okay. Right. There we go. Now it goes the other way. Turn it up. Now I'll swap them back. Now I might let the whole song play through just for the hell of it. I'm not here standing for a while. Yep, that's the conversion, so I'd say. Yeah. They don't like stationary electron beams. <laughs> it's literally like a laser burning through paper. I 
this sounds cold, but yeah, let's pop it a song. Yeah, turn it too loud. Turn down. Next track. Got a woofer cook lamp if they any somewhere. Pretty sure it's this CD. Oh, well, you get the point how it works, so. Find this video interesting and thanks for watching.